Today I wanted to make a back to school, start of the semester type organizational video. I know we started school, most of us, over a month ago, but I've been wanting to do this and had the energy today, so here we are. The first thing I do at the start of the semester is download all my syllabuses and read them through. Um, I know not everyone likes to read the syllabuses, but they actually have a lot of helpful information that I like to read in terms of absence policies, homework policies, things like exam dates and grade distributions. Um, so I like to have a kind of a sense of those things at the beginning. So I download my syllabuses. Um, I have a certain file structure that I use on my computer. So I have a school folder. Within the school folder, I have um, a semester folder. In the semester folder, I have all of my classes and a syllabus folder. So I put all the syllabuses for all of my classes in the syllabus folder and not for their particular class. All my other assignments throughout the semester go into the individual class folders, but syllabuses are the only thing that I keep separate. And I keep a shortcut to the syllabuses and my semester folder just because then it's easy to access. Everything's digital now, so anytime I have to submit assignment, I need to scan it. So I scan it and then drop it in the class folder that it corresponds with. Um, so that's how I try to stay organized. So the next thing I do is download my schedule. Wherever you can sign up for classes and all of that, normally you can also download a calendar file with your schedule. And what I like about that is it normally accounts for the days off that the school has determined. So it has your weekly schedule, but if there's already days off in there, then it reflects that. So that's really nice. Then you don't have to do it manually. I just really like having everything digitally um, because it syncs across my phone, my laptop. I can just see it easily wherever I am. And if I ever have to schedule anything, I can just pull it up quickly on my phone. I can see exactly when I have free without having to think about it because I forget, even classes I have every week apparently. I also sometimes like to make a paper calendar. It's more of just like a fun bullet journal-y type thing. Um, it helps me get familiar with my class schedule at the beginning of the year because I never know when I start, what my classes are or when they are. So it helps me get a sense and um, sometimes I like to hang it up or just keep it in my binder, but really it's more just a fun thing for me. I carry with me always my binder my little pencil case and usually my laptop that'll just depend on like the types of classes you have as for my binder i do keep a binder that's how i decide to take notes i don't like notebooks because there's a lot of reasons i just don't i'll just tell you why i like binders <laughs> i like the binder because you can obviously take pages in and out if you need to reorder things you can even within your sections you can always expand each section so in notebooks i used to like say okay i'm gonna save this many pages for this class this many for this class this many for this class but then what happens when you run out of pages in a section hmm? well with a binder you don't have to worry about that you can just insert pages anywhere. I made these little dividers out of scrapbook paper. I literally just cut little rectangles and like glued them on. Obviously you can buy dividers, but I thought they were kind of more fun and I didn't want to buy dividers. So there you go. You can also decorate like the tab page for every class or write it here at least, which I should have done, but I couldn't settle on how I wanted to design it. So I didn't do it. Every tab is its own class. I keep all of my classes in one binder. It's obviously like a small binder, like I don't know, one inch, one half inch, I don't know. I don't take a ton of notes so I can afford to do this, but that might not work for you. I just think it's convenient to carry only one binder if you can. I do always keep, this is my pencil case friend got this for me. Thank you very much. I love it. As I mentioned making my calendar earlier, I've enjoyed bullet journaling in the past. So I have a lot of markers and things like that. And I feel like I incorporate bullet journal. I just incorporate hand lettering is really what it is. So I do keep a lot of markers. Do I always write pretty notes? No. Have I written pretty notes this semester at all? Absolutely not. I mean, past semester, I definitely did more especially at the start of the semester before you know things got crazy one of the things i keep is these tumble dual brush pens and the thing i like about this is that it fits them because a lot of other pencil cases i've found are not long enough 
so that's great. The more important things that I keep in my pencil pouch are pens. I prefer to write in pen, so I keep pens of a few different colors. Primarily black, but also I keep blue and purple and red in case I just want to emphasize anything. I also keep pencils. I got these little eggshell-y type pencils from Target. I just think they're so cute and they're mechanical, obviously. I've worn all of the erasers down though, so I also keep an eraser. That's just good if I need to do homework or anything where I might need to erase a lot. If I'm taking notes and I make a mistake, I just do one line through and keep moving. It doesn't bother me. I've gotten used to it and I feel like we just do one strike though. I feel like it looks clean. It's okay. It is okay. Actually, I don't keep this with me, but this is a white gel pen. Um, this works pretty well if we need to cover stuff up, but you also just get white out. I've honestly never used white out, but I did use this for some bullet journaling, so I have this. I do not carry it. I don't care if I make some mistakes. Um, I also keep a Micron pen. This is kind of another bullet journaling relic, but just an inky black opaque line, whereas a ballpoint pen is a little bit, a little bit different quality. I also have a fountain pen. This is blue just because I like those. And again, it's more inky and smooth. I also keep highlighters, obviously highlighting stuff, things of that nature. Like I showed you, I have some Tombow dual brush pens. If you're not familiar, they have the brush tip and also this type of end, so it's cool because you have one color, but in two forms. So if you're color coding, you can keep those consistent. And I also have Crayola Super Tips and regular Crayola markers. All these, depending on the color, can be used for highlighting if you have a light enough shade, but I also like using them for headings and stuff. I'll just give you some examples of what I'm talking about, what you can do. So you don't think I'm as crazy for keeping markers as a 23 year old woman. I don't know. Okay. This is the dual brush pen up top um, with the brush nib. It's easy to do calligraphy, but you can also do calligraphy with any of the markers that I showed. So this is here and then also another little style here. And then we just have like some gray options. This is all with the super tip. Um, I like to do that when I do definitions, just write the word and then the rest can go in a smaller pen. I've been told that I write uh comically large so this might not be realistic for most people like this that's pretty long that's a lot of space for one word you didn't even write the definition yet you know what i'm saying <laughs> might not be realistic but even if you just did like headers like that um can be fun the last thing i do is once i've gotten into the semester started kind of know what my assignments are going to be like is put them all in a to-do list i use this app called todoist and i love it so much and todoist just has great functionality for everything that i would want to use it for at least and i think it works great for school so i'll just show you what i do with that yes my computer's on eight percent so that's why we're going to do this quickly first you can add a project here and then you can just call it school or whatever you want to call it. You can see I have one already over here that I use, but I'm just going to demo it for you. Let's do a nice blue color. You can add to favorites. It just pops it over in this bar here, but your projects show in this bar anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, I keep it in list view. Here, this is where you add a section. So what I do is add a section for every class. And then within each class, you can add a task. So we can just call it homework one. And then when you have that, you can also say when it's due. So we can say it's due 11.59 on Friday. Oops, Friday. So that helps you kind of keep a timeline of when things are due, not just down to the day, but down to the time, which I think is really helpful um, because you can also put this in your Google calendar. And as I'm sure you could tell, I really like having things in my Google Calendar. The other main thing I wanna show you is if you have a recurring task, so you have a lab and you have to turn in a pre-lab every week before lab, what you can do is say pre-lab, prefab, no, 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 pre-lab, let's keep it on that. Pre-lab due every Wednesday at 2 p.m. So the thing about Todoist is it's really smart. Just by putting in this key phrase every, um, it really knows what you mean. So it'll repeat it every week at 2 p.m. So you can see uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. So it's gonna say it's due tomorrow at 2 p.m. Once I turn that in, or once I check it off here, 
check it off and then you can see it goes to next week. So that's helpful if you have assignments like that that you're always going to have to do so you never forget to put them in. This guy here is the dual brush. I just tried to put it in front but it was behind. <laughs> ran out of space so hopefully readjusting this doesn't make it look bad um, i know every school has their own different type of education portal thing i don't know what it's called you know what i'm talking about i like to put the syllabus on the dock if you're on a mac if it goes wait what why can't i do it so I like to put the syllabuses on the dot. You can also stick the, oh my God, I can't click it, but if I could, what's going on? You could also put this on the dot. Why can't I put it on the dot? 